All right, everybody. Well, just wanted to, I had to drive down to Dearborn, Michigan today, and uh, we're basically taking a, a ride back through where I used to live for a while, and uh, we're going to be going through a place called downtown Wixom, and uh, I believe it was my Grand Marquis that did the St. Thomas plant for the Panther platform, which is produces the Crown Victoria and Grand Marquis, which we're driving right now. This car was made in St. Thomas. Um, but it also produced another Panther platform called the Lincoln Town Car. And it, it's not, it's idle now. Uh, the Town Car is now produced in St. Thomas along with uh, the other pan Panther platform cars. But uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a little video. I told, uh, I think it's, I think it is my Grand Marquis uh, user, uh, my Grand Marquis. Uh, he's got a mint condition 1991 Mercury Grand Marquis. And uh, I'm gonna, I gotta turn left here. Well, this plant is very, very big. I don't know the square footage, you guys have to look it up, but I'm going to give you a view. I don't know if they've locked it down or if I can drive through there, but uh, I told every, I told uh, my Grand Marquis that I would uh, do some do a drive up of uh, the Wixom plant when I got a chance and figured this would be the best time since uh, I was driving past it. So um, just actually right over there you can see just a little bit of it uh, as it starts and it continues until uh, the highway 96 so we'll uh, we'll definitely um, and uh, I'm driving the 2008 Grand Marquis today because uh, I have to replace the clock spring on my 2003 because I kept getting an intermittent airbag light so I had to drive down to a dealership here where I purchased that originally from to get it on warranty. So as we proceed here, um, we'll uh, hopefully uh, they'll have an unlocked gate and I'll be able to get in there. Uh, they don't produce any vehicles, I don't believe, right there right now. I don't know what the plan is for the plant. Um, other than when I would go to work every morning for a while, I would pass by this thing every single day, and it's huge. I mean, it's very big. As you can see right there, that's where the plant is. Um, this is a storage yard. This is where they had a bunch of town cars parked for a while. Uh, they had a lot of town cars parked there. I mean, the whole lot was almost filled. Um, they probably have this all locked up. Oh, well, maybe not. Uh, they got four trucks there now. I don't know if that's just used for storage or if they're actually building four trucks in there. I, I don't know. But uh, there, there it is. I mean, we just, I think it's it's got to be at least two or three miles long. Or not two or three miles long, but like a mile and a half long. Um, it's ridiculous, though. This is where the town cars were built for up until 2008. Uh, the Mustang, 05 Mustang, was also built here. Um, I don't know where that's built now, but uh, see if we can get it. They got so many Ford trucks. Maybe they're building trucks here now. I don't know. They might have this locked down where you can't get in. Yeah. I don't have it locked down here, so we'll go in here. This is where I learned to drive a stick, by the way. This is the Wixom Ford plant. And this is just, as you can see, this is the ending of it. But if you can see, I mean, it just, 
extends forever. And these were the offices right here. And um, that's the back part of it right there. I see somebody driving a Ford truck in, so I'm assuming that they're actually um, that they're actually producing the Ford truck here now. But I, again, I can't be for sure. It looks like they got workers there and everything. And when we jump on the highway, you guys will get a better view from the side. It's pretty freaking huge from the side too. So we'll go ahead and. Uh, Jump on the highway here, and uh, there's another place you can go in. I'm assuming they're building four trucks out of there now, but I'm not for sure. So they had it was really cool. They had a sign that they had uh, they had three of the cars, and I don't think they were real scale size. They were scaled down, but they had cars come out of the sign it was pretty cool this was back a couple years ago um, as you can see lots of loading docks and it still keeps going it's going keeps going that's even part of it right there and as you can see there's more Ford trucks Park there. They must be using it as a test test track. But that's the Wixom Ford plant. And I just wanted to show you guys that. Sorry I couldn't get a very good view because they had most of the gates locked and I understand why because they got all those new cars sitting there. So it's a bunch more Fords right there. So anyways, to my friend my uh, Grand Marquis uh, Hopefully you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll be talking with you later for the Carter Hour. Everybody take care. Thanks for this, uh, subscribing and watching my videos. really appreciate it. I know I'm not the biggest one out on YouTube, but it's still it's really nice to uh, see that somebody takes interest in my videos. So, uh, and also, uh, happy early Thanksgiving to all of you if I don't do a video uh, before then. Take care.